brought you here to test Razvan blood sample. Interesting. Okay, okay. I will confront her. I want to see if there's anything else going on here. To what do I owe this courtesy? It's locked, all right. I'm guessing these chests and stuff. I suspect it maybe was more if than we intuition feed on these guys, we get a key or us. something. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I got some questions, Dorothy. Serious questions. I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? <laughs> I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. That was very poetic. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She probably needs the money. She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Jeez. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But... But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So... Are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Ooh. Okay, so... I look away, but you resign. Charm. You'll forget about all of this. Or embrace. I, what is the? Why do we have the charm option? Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Whoa. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon- Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll- Oh, I'll let that's it cool. Go. Yes. So wh I wonder why that option's All available to us. Gone. Whoa. So our mesmerized level went up because of that? The district will soon suffer the consequences, so they're going to get sicker because she's not going to do this anymore. <sighs> Interesting. Yeah, see, so we're level two mesmerized now. And, uh, we could have, we could have embraced her, um, or we could have just let her carry on. But it'll be interesting to see, because this health status is already pretty bad. But if we come back and we start, like, healing some people... And it could be okay. Um, cold, bronchitis, fatigue. We need to whip up some of these. Um, we need to whip up some of these things. Some of these cures. I can't talk to her anymore, right? <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so there. What the? What the hell? Come on now. Oh boy. Oh, 
They got in. They killed these guys. That was my opportunity, boys. And you took it from me. <laughs> oh. Now there's these guys everywhere. Get your weapons ready! We found one! This is going to be interesting. Okay, we're getting a little fatigued, boys. Got a bunch. That's so strong. It's so strong. Okay, so now I think what we need to start doing is we're gonna go we're gonna go back to uh, Lady Ashbury at the hospital. Uh, spend some time doing the contracts in that area that are outstanding, and make some decisions on who could be sacrificed. Is this guy still alive? Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. You have a problem out here, Come by the way. In. Yes? Um... Okay, nothing new Goodbye, here. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Other than the fact that if we want to, we could consume him... ...for more power. <laughs> it's so tempting. It's so tempting. I think what we'll do is head back to, um... Back to the hospital. And clean things up there a little bit. And then one of the bigger things we're gonna have to do... It's locked. Is... Hmm, which way can I go here? One of the bigger things we'll have to do is start helping to cure these people because... These districts, if they get too poor in uh, condition, we can lose them. We definitely do want that. Do not want that happening. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so. Kill it, boy! Whoa! Okay. Oh, they were using it as like a lure, maybe. Let me stay on the opposite side for this guy. Whoa! Okay, we got a bunch here. Hold on. Hold on. Let me switch over to this one, because I don't think I'm going to get this stun very often. Oh, there's like a bunch in here. This is a problem. We had- we were trapped. Jesus. Oh! Okay, this is bad. Let's heal a bit. Oh no! This is trouble. Okay. 
Oh, there's just gonna be more of them? guys are super strong. <laughs> oh, I switched. Let's, uh... Get our fatigue up there, inject ourselves. Oh my god. That might have just saved us. Got one. this other big boy here. I was just gonna heal there too with the uh, with the serum. Damn it! Ah, uh, we could have taken him too. I got a little aggressive there at the end when I jumped in. He put down that like poison cloud. I'm interested to see where this sets us back to though. Oh, it's just right here. Okay, okay, okay. Not a big deal. It's not Human a big deal. Blood. Whoever left these marks did so. We can take these guys. That's definitely the way to go to take that guy down. Does anyone? We're in trouble here. here. I gotta try and get one of them down at least. Oh. 
He's almost down. Got him. That's actually tough, man. When they start showing up in large numbers like this, and large health bars, <laughs> that's pretty scary. We did it, though. We did it. Yet again, another reason that we need to mesmerize some people. I think that guy, that guy can sit there. the hospital. Oh, Ashbury's outside, isn't she? Yeah, I believe she is. Let's just go to the front. I don't know if I want to rest either because when we rest, the statuses change. But we have a lot of XP that we could use, so... Whoa! <laughs> Jesus, sorry I caught you there. I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. Hiding your true appetites behind a facade of compassion. Bravo. Very clever indeed. She's just feeding on people. Spare me your sarcasm, She's not the only Jonathan. one ever. You are but newly in this born in this world. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Oh. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady. The blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. I feel like the of all the options, identity is of no relevance. Charming her is still uh, a good option because exactly what it keeps them both safe. Me. You have proven your loyalty, so as a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires I, yeah. or your current Remember situation... Remember she said if we help her, she'll answer some questions. I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. Okay, so... Get to me here. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word. Defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an Ekon. And that you shall remain. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I well, am. Well, she keeps saying we are. So we are the closest imagine. thing Jesus. to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. 
I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. Oh. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. Why? How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking okay. the streets of London. She I don't think Excuse she's our maker. my forwardness, but are you my maker? Me? <laughs> Goodness no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. Damn. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. We gotta track them down. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you. Considering how cruelly he treated you. I'll make him answer. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Yeah, this Tell is me. the juicy stuff. How is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. Okay. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire. It's not so much us feasting on them. Someone. They have to drink our blood. Which means we would have done that. So how did that happen? Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you mm. discover your new condition so by, by yourself. By what, what she's mean? saying. Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Almost never. Basically what she's saying is like, if you're gonna make a, another vampire, like, you are prepared and ready to deal with that. Not just like, accidental or leaving them be kind of thing. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson <laughs> from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. It's I've lived in this city for either. a long time, and I've never seen it like this. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Like the whole influenza Spanish flu thing, I think is just like, uh, not even a red herring, it's just... Yeah, that's happening as well, but you can feel that there's something tangibly different here. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. Yeah. When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain. More than likely, it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Oh, yeah. Once We've glorious, seen Prewin leaders but and stuff, still so. Dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. Oh, I've learned. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society, 
and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seems they have been recruiting. Okay. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Probably because Dr. she funds Swansea the whole is thing. a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me <laughs> of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure. It's in weird, like, I, I kind of believe her, you know? Like, what do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London vampire society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I never ask a woman age? her age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. <laughs> if you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now. Yeah. And 27 exactly. I shall remain. Okay. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. So does that mean that I am the same in that regard? Very well. I won't age? But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Of course. Of course you do. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. What type of vampire is a scar? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. Mm. It cannot be the other way round. Okay. That's actually really good info. Well. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Yeah. Okay, so let's go up to our place. And uh, we'll analyze that. We also gotta whip up some cures. Okay. The flower's dying. Oh yeah, what's this water. about? Like, how do I get this thing some water? <laughs> We saw that last time, or recently, I should say. Okay, so let's analyze this blood. That'll give us... Oh, another serum, okay. Increase the stamina regenerate by 50% for 15 seconds. That's actually really good. We don't have uh, watery, brisk blood samples, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so I need fatigue. I know that. Looks like we can make a bunch of these. Um, bronchitis I saw. I don't have any for pneumonia. I can make a, uh, cold. One for the cold. I didn't see sepsis, but you know what Last we can do? Lasso Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? It'd be. I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Established connection between vampire epidemic and Spanish flu. Okay. So, my recent trip to Whitechapel proved to me how desperate the situation is for all Londoners and how they must cope with this threat the best way they can. Causes and effects seem irredeemably intertwined. Dorothy Crane chose to steal and blackmail to gather enough money to illegally heal the poor. But I also saw her desperately trying to save a dying patient in the rudimentary dispensary. In the end, we both failed saving the poor man, but I'm now convinced the Spanish flu must be linked to the vampire epidemic. So, he must have... Well, I was going to say he must have died regardless of our choices, but we could have maybe drawn blood even, like, if he was alive, we could have taken a blood sample. So maybe we could have saved him. I'm now convinced the Spanish flu must be linked to the vampire epidemic. It, uh, for my analysis of Razvan's blood revealed the hi same highly unstable blood I've already observed on William Bishop. To report all these events to Dr. Swansea and ask for medical 
and vampire expertise. Now, if we look here, this area, we've got um, fatigue, bronchitis, the cold. Here we have headache, fatigue, and fatigue. So there's still some that we don't have solutions for. But I'm not seeing, um, I'm not seeing anything for, oh, did we see pneumonia? Sorry, let me check one more time. Headache is one that we don't have. Bronchitis, cold, but no pneumonia. The problem is, um... There's still these things down here that we can't heal yet. So, we'll have to find these at some point, And then we're able to walk around with a few more cures on us. I'm gonna grab, um... An extra one here. Just so we have it. Fatigue seems to be very common. Let me, like, whip up a bunch of those. Um... The regen serum, the blood serum, and stamina serum. We need this watery brisk blood sample, so we won't be able to do that. Um, I think this listin is pretty good against like bosses, but the stake is good against kind of everything else. Uh, we need a lead stick, which I guess we could probably buy um, from the guy. The dragon bane. Do we have any upgrades available here? Yes. Let's actually do this. And then we can increase damage dealt by 10% or absorb blood points when the weapon hits. I actually like that. I actually like that a lot. 10% is not a huge amount. And this will give us blood just by doing regular attacks. We can even go to level 3. Yeah, let's do it. And then uh, decrease stamina consumption or absorb more blood. Uh, that one's tempting, but I think we're going to do more blood. Good handle parts. All right, cool. It's got some significant upgrades there. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll take a break here, and then when we return, we'll talk to Swansea and uh, keep going and see how we do. What's this? Dr. Swansea's message. To ask Nurse Crane, this is for us, to secure an office fee on the second floor, please forgive the austere decoration, but Pembroke Hospital's not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover the office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal after all. I also gave orders to let you rest and for the re for the staff to never enter your room. You'll be able to sleep all day without being disturbed and work at night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice that there is an open window with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this must all be for you, believe me. I've studied enough of your species to understand that you must now be facing... or to understand what you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured, I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Know that you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad to, I met you. These dark times we all presently... we are all pleasant, presently facing. I hope our future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to Pembroke, my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. P.S. Left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I've discovered about econ in the last few years. Feel free to read about it if you have, need some guidance, as long as you don't use this knowledge to take advantage of me. Alright. I left a copy of some of my notes, which I guess we probably found when we came in here the first time, if I had to guess. Alright. So, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna break here, and then when we return, we'll go talk to Swansea, and we'll try and piece this together. Wish me luck. Oh, let's refill stuff before I forget. And, uh, yeah. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.